Hey guys, this is Robert Daly with Daly Woodworks and the Recreational Woodworker. Today I am gonna open up my UJK Parf Guide Mark II system. This is gonna be the top right here to my new Polk Smart Bench that I've been making. Um, been following Ron Polk's designs. You can get plans for his stuff over at smartwoodshop.com. And I took a piece of maple plywood, put three coats of a pre-catalyzed uh, lacquer on it. It gets really hard, really durable. And that's what I'm gonna be using to drill all my 20 millimeters uh, dog holes. So I went ahead and bought the Parf Guide system. That way you can get that CNC quality without having to own a CNC. And now I'm just opening up the box to see how everything looks. That way you can see what comes in the box if you buy one of these yourself. Hey guys, before we get started today, I would like to invite you to go to the recreationalwoodworker.com. This is my website and blog that has all of my woodworking plans, how-to tutorials, jigs, furniture, shop projects, tool reviews, everything that you need to know about being a woodworker. We have an extensive blog where it's easy to find the essential clamps you need, how to build awesome tabletops, and upcycling furniture projects. All those different things that you might want to do to be a woodworker. So go check out the recreationalwoodworker.com and let's get back to our video. So as I'm opening up everything, everything's going to be packed in here pretty good. Um, I saw on one of Ron's videos he uses a PVC tube to store this in. I think I'm going to do the same thing but for now I'm just going to carefully take things out of the box so that I can put things back in the box when I'm done. There's the guide right there. We have, looks like something that's been oiled. This is the boring bit with a stop collar. I think it's this really nice orange anodized aluminum. This is your bit one that is for a quarter, uh, quarter inch and the Centrotec system. I've got the CXS with the Centrotech, but I don't think it's gonna be powerful enough to bore a 20 millimeter hole. Let me open this guy up. And it is encased in, looks like some type of protective wax. So they really take the time to protect this stuff when they send it to you. So let's peel that off. All right, so this is everything for this. And everything in here just touching it, filling it, just feels super high quality. Um, let's open up this little box, see what's in here. All right, so this is, I believe, our pin that goes in like right there, I think. You've got your dog holes that go right there. Wow, that is like a super tight fit. I've heard uh, several people put some type of just like a gun oil, light machine oil, something like that to um, do everything. Whoa, that is something fancy right there. I don't know what that is exactly, to be honest with you. I guess it's this guy to drill a super flat hole. Yeah, that's like, this is cool, guys. Yeah. All right, then. I have no idea what this guy is. That must be, is that the pins? Oh, don't drop it. Don't do that. Oh, wow, so you can actually screw the pins together and really lock these together. That is, that is cool. There is a lot of cool going on in this. So let me put that back together. And I believe that is everything. I don't know. So that goes right there and holds that in place. 
There's a lot of little parts here that I do not want to lose. I can promise you that. All right, so I got my Ziploc baggies and we're just gonna go ahead and put all these little small parts into here. That is just an intense piece of kit right there. And then these drill bits will go in here and stay protected. I'm not too worried about them knocking around in there because one, I'm not going to be taking this up and down the highway. And then two, like I'm just like, I don't, I'm not going to mistreat this, right? So I'm going to do this. Go ahead and get that on there. I don't know where this gets set yet, but the best place for a lock ring is on where it locks onto. So I'm just gonna cinch that down nice and not tight enough yet. There you go, that's tight enough now. So that's good. And oh no, oh no. So that's gotta go in first. That's gotta go in second. Goes right there put that on so now all my small parts are in this nice bag right here and I'll just only need one bag so everything's gonna go right there everything's gonna go right there and that is the parf guide that's the unboxing time for me to do some light reading and figure out how this thing actually works all right so I'm now um, getting set up to drill my dog holes so with the pulk table whoa I guess we're gonna see how that hyper smooth works aren't we um, with the pulk table, we're gonna come over 96 millimeters, right there, and then we're gonna come up 96 millimeters. To right there, and that's gonna be our first set of holes. And then everything else is gonna be aligned off of that. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this out already pre-finished this and I'm not don't want to put a ton of marks on it but the great thing with this finish is I can actually wipe a pencil mark off once I get it there but I am going to double check that with these super duper fancy rulers so I'm gonna get on the edge right here I'm just gonna do 200 right there So that should be 96 right there. And I'm good that way. Same thing, I'm basically using my square here on the edge is just to make sure I'm right there because I already put a chamfer on the edge of this. Moving the camera again, all right. So coming in, 196 right there and I'm good. So that's gonna be my first hole. So I've got that first one and now I need to, that's going to be my zero point right there. And so about like over here, I need to come up another 96 millimeters to get that straight line. And I know you can't see that. And that is just going to have to be okay. I am gonna put this ruler here again. Let me come, oh, let me flip this around. Okay, so I'm gonna come at my edge. Where's my pencil line? Ah, I got, I guess I need to make it darker where I can actually see it. Should be about right in here. Ah, right here, okay. Should be about right there. Let me put that right there and I'm gonna go from 600. Right there to 695. I am a millimeter off right there. So I'm gonna come in again, get that down, and there we go. I should really probably, if I'm wanting to be absolutely dead perfect, I should really be using my uh, marking knife that I use whenever you're laying out dovetails and stuff. That would be the absolute most accurate way to do this. All right, so 300 right there to the edge. 
96, got it. Okay, so that's good. So now, I need to, they say this on this everywhere, this is not a straight edge, this is not a straight edge. Well, I wanna use it as a straight edge. I don't know why I shouldn't use it as a straight edge, but I will use this guy right here. Actually, no. I know they say I'm not supposed to use this as a straight edge, but I'm gonna use it as a straight edge, okay? Forgive me, people at TSO. Where's my pencil line? Ah, right there. Okay, right there's my pencil line. There's my pencil line. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do that zero right there. Actually, I know exactly what I can do because this is on the 32 millimeter system. I can come over here and then just mark right there, right there, and right there, 32 millimeters. So that way, whenever I drill that up, I will have an X on my mark. Boom, check that out. All right, so. Now I'm really ready to drill my first hole. These, these are beautiful. Like this is just to drill a hole, but it is a beautiful machine part. One's long, one short. Longer is not always better. So we're gonna use the short one first. And let me get my three millimeter drill bit. And gonna just go ahead and chuck it up into the central check right there. Fast speed on drill. I'm going to use my awl, or all, however you want to say it, to go ahead and put a divot right there at that point. Come over here to line up the holes. Right there. And right there. There we go. That is as precise as I can humanly be right there. So now, I'm just gonna take this, gonna thread it into here. And that takes a little bit to get locked in. There we go, got it. You heard that snap when it snapped into place. There we go. That's my first hole right there. And then now I can take my pin. And I know uh, Ron has it where there's a 32 millimeter hole in here as well. Um, I'm gonna get to that, but I'm gonna lay out the big jig first. All right. There we go. That's in there and gosh, is it in there? That is like seriously Seriously intense. All right, so now we have that. Right here. Right there. Come on, snap, snap, snap. This is, oh, there it goes, it went. Okay. I'll tell you what, these tolerances are tight. Okay, so that is our first two holes. So now I know by pushing in this pin, locking that down, I can drill the rest of these holes and they will align. And now I can just do this I hope. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. All 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I started to shoot this video as part of a longer video on building my new Polk Smart Bench, um, and then decided to break it up into multiple videos just to make things easier. So on my next few videos, you can see the main reason I bought the Parf Guide is building my Polk Smart Bench, redoing my Polk Total Station, and then I've moved on to redoing the top on this workbench here. As kind of a parting, another thing that you can do with this jig, the quality is great, it's a phenomenal tool, but man, after doing two and a half workbenches, it got really monotonous. And so, again, our idea I got from Ron Polk, I made this. I laid out my parf holes, exactly following the, the grid and the plans, and or the parf guide system. I laid out my 20 millimeter holes, and now I can use a half inch pattern bit to quickly route holes in this that are equally as accurate. It might not be quite as accurate, honestly, but for the most part, this bench here is mainly to hold stuff down, and if you reference it with the dog holes, it should be pretty darn close, and close enough for woodworking. So, hope you found that useful. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. If I've earned your subscription, love if you subscribe and join the bell. And I'd also invite you to go to our private Facebook group, The Recreational Woodworker, and join us there. Um, and let's build great furniture together. See you next time.